bitch on, we got bulletproof glass now. Bitch, I turned off, I feel like I want a Grammy. I'm speaking Guapanese, I know he can't understand. Hey yo, it's your boy Atomic coming at you with another Fortnite video and today we're going to be talking about the next generation consoles and what that means for the Nintendo Switch but as you guys have already seen in the title the next gen consoles are only going to be running at 60 FPS that is insane to even think about considering the fact that these consoles can actually run and will run a majority of their games on 120 FPS it's just that Fortnite took the route of going more towards graphics and less towards performance so for example the Series X is going to be capped at 1080p with the 60 fps and the series x the more powerful console will be capped at 4k with the 60 fps as well but here on the screen you guys can see the official tweet from fortnite coming out earlier this morning they said next gen next week learn the details on the new version of the game and we're gonna go ahead and have a look here as you guys can see 4k resolution at 60 fps on the series x you, oh, I mean, experience Fortnite on the Xbox like you've never seen before with the stunning 4K. I mean, Fortnite's at the point pretty much where everybody that's playing that's left is either a complete creative warrior creating content on YouTube or a nasty con player who could be streaming, could not be streaming, but either way, they're looking for the performance. So they don't really care about having the 4K resolution, but we've got dynamic visuals and physics on the Series X, 1080p resolution on the Series S, get into matches faster on a whole new console. You're telling me that an iPad is still running better than the consoles? That is crazy to even think about, but it's the exact same thing with the PS5. You got the 4K resolution on the 60 fps i mean oh uh, at least hey we get to pick up your progress right you get to continue the game whether you're playing on your old console you can bring it over to the new one and continue it you get a throwback bonus you get a little pickaxe the disappointing part for me is that here this whole time we thought we could get 60 fps on the nintendo switch when here the next gen consoles that can and will run 120 fps on ma on a majority of their games is still capped by fortnite at the 60 fps that means that us here on nintendo switch are completely doomed we will never see 60 fps on this current console and even with the next gen console it kind of scares me because i don't know what kind of powerful jump first of all this is all rumored with the switch pro but what kind of powerful jump we can go to from the regular switch to a sprint switch pro will it be enough for fortnite to consider having 60 fps on that new device if the next gen powerhouse consoles are stuck at 60 fps I don't know, but I'm not. I'm feeling some type of way. So all my guys in the comment section down below, let me know what you think about this newest update. I know a lot of you guys have switched from either the Switch to the PS4, P or Xbox, you know, Series X, whatever it is. What are your thoughts? You're still gonna be holding 60 even if you get the next gen console. Either way, though, I mean, next gen console is next gen console. A lot of people are gonna buy them for the sake of having that and being able to play 120 FPS on a whole bunch of other games. Fortnite's not the only game in the world, but it's kind of crazy to me that it's still going to be stuck at 60, an absolute tragedy. Sorry to bring you guys the bad news, but it had to be done. That is gonna be it, Nintendo Switch is cut. But hey, the only bright side is at least if you're competing on Switch, if, if somehow, some way you're still, you know, finding the willpower to compete on Switch, at least you won't have to go up against 120 FPS. They'll still be on 60, just with nicer graphics. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you go on and enjoy the rest of your day.